Hyvääpä, hyvääpä iltaa. Uh, minä vaihdan saman tien englanniksi, koska Eriel on täällä. Mutta tänään tehdään se juttu, mitä on, mitä yleensä toivotaan ja jota mä oon itse asiassa vasta päässyt tekemään yhden ihmisen kanssa. Eli tehdään The Airplane Thing. You know the movie Airplane? I've seen a little bit of it. Yes, it's a legendary, a legendary movie where both the pilots... Uh, become incapacitated and a former fighter pilot has to land the plane land the plane without knowing how to do it with the type of aircraft mm -hmm. feature uh, so it's become a scenario that well what if this happened and you're not a pilot then what yes. would happen and that's what we shall see that's what we're doing today uh, the only person I've managed to do it so far or with the only person I managed to do it with so far Uh, has been Fox, uh, who actually did pretty well, pretty well. Uh, I mean, everybody survived. The plane was not <laughs> flyable after it, but everybody survived. We'll And see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. I actually, I'm actually pretty confident that you'll be able to pull it off decently, like to the point where everybody survives. Yeah, I'm hoping that's at least the case. But the scenario is that that uh, I'm going to just fly the plane um, to the point where uh, we, we're in a situation that would simulate that we are landing the plane. And then suddenly you will die and I will take over. Yes. Oh uh, wait, spoilers. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's loud. Yeah. And we are already in the runway because why waste time on on taxing and doing yeah. that stuff? For, because the point of the video is kind of different than my usual. Okay, viruses. That was my pebble. Yes. Making that sound. It says, the U.S. will charge a North Korean spy over the 2014 hacking of Sony Pictures. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna put it on so it won't make that <laughs> anymore. Okay. So turning on. Turning on all of the things. Hurrah! I was I um, I did like a weird combination of huzzah and hooray, <laughs> so I, it was like horza or something. I mean. I'm gonna fly us to ten thousand feet. Okay. Okay. Uh, and yeah, I'm just gonna okay. program the plane to the point. I'm already gonna program the uh, the descent and landing because that's how the plane would be if I were to die. Uh, during mm -hmm. the descent, which is what we're just because it would take some so much time explaining uh, what buttons to press on yeah. the flight computer, and it would it wouldn't be even challenging; it would just be tedious. Yeah. Um. So okay, I'm just gonna tell it that we are flying from Helsinki, Vanta to Helsinki, Vanta. And we are flying a basically a circle. Yeah, we're and we're gonna fly with the Finnair paint job because you like Finland so much, <laughs> and you're yes. flying Finnair. Yes. And you're actually. I actually flew in that liver livery. Yes. Yeah, and you flew in. A stretched variant of this very aircraft. Yes. Um, and I'm just gonna go fly, cruise level 100 and cost the nexus by me, whatever, it doesn't matter. And what are we gonna do for fuel? Uh, since we're, we're simulating coming in for landing. Let's do like a... All right, it doesn't do it this way anymore. I ne actually need to... Here, load fuel. Uh, let's 
do you like? Eight thousand, no, the four thousand kilograms of fuel, whatever. Uh, you'll have a one hot two hundred and sixty four plus eighteen, two hundred and seven, two hundred and eighty two persons on board. Okay, I ho hopefully I make sure they all stay alive. And that is the main goal. Everyone stays alive. Yes, that is the goal. <laughs> I'm going to turn on the APU already. Uh, I'm going to turn on the fuel pumps because they are kind of essential. And I'm just going to I'm just going to do a really quick and dirty operating of, of this. Okay. I'm just going to I'm not going to do things in the proper order because Again, the point of this video is not to operate the plane correctly. It is to get it get us to the point where I can die. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully not for real. Yeah, and I just need to check the weather on So it's One zero one nine is the barometric barometric pressure, and other than that, we are excellent. IRS line takes five minutes still, so actually, I can program in. We are departing from runway one four right, and let's do Adivo to Charlie departure, no transition, uh, and. We are going to do a, actually let me check the charts real quick, so we'll get like a, we'll get something that makes sense for the arrival. I'm just going to fly towards Adivo and we'll see. You nerds and you at your accuracy. Accuracy. Uh, that this is more just for saving time. I, I'm I'm teasing either way. <laughs> uh, I consider myself a nerd. Uh, we can do a Lockwood. Yeah, let's do a Lockwood. Lockwood. Yes, Lockwood arrival. Lockwood. Missed the point. Oh, I'm sorry. No. Um, arrival. We'll do an ILS four zero left. Arrival and Lakut 6 Bravo. No Lakut. transition. And reflect and insert. And I'm just gonna clear that discontinuity. And we have an approximation of the flight plan. I just Sweet. need to put in our fuel data. We had. What did I say? I don't our know. fuel was gonna be. Oh, it's like what two thousand two seven eight one zero eight zero one? I don't know. No, four thousand. Oh, I was completely off. Or before start checklist completed. The more you know. The more you know. Two two two. Up to. Oh, it doesn't fill in the, all the information. I actually have to punch in some numbers. Oh no, the horror. Oh. On a motorcycle today. So it's two slash up. 3.7. No. Up. 3.7. It's magic! Where are those things? Uh, it's the trim wheel. Oh. The trim wheel uh, adjusts the... Ah. Where the aircraft, like, settles. Yeah. Mm, well, that's a long trim. And 
but that makes sense because we're landing with heavy low heavy load but loads but very little fuel and we'll just do a toga takeoff because why not and yeah now we're just oh we have we do have uh the route let's just check how it looks oh uh where how is it how does the weird arivatula put oh it's okay so basically, after we reach Adivo and the plane turns to Lakut, I'm gonna die. Okay. <laughs> From eating too much American candy. <laughs> too much salt intake. Too much salt and high fructose corn syrup. Yeah, the candy corn is basically pure corn syrup. So. Yeah, and this thing is probably... Can you actually pass me one, too? I do like these. Gosh. So I do think I like the lion bars a little better, possibly. But I mean, I love caramel too, so. Hey, people bleed. I'm gonna start the engine. Starting engine two. Rotation. We're gonna do some things that'll just save some time. Like I'm gonna start explaining the controls mm -hmm. to you even before I die. Just because I could do it later, but it would just take time and there's no point in. Starting engine one. Now we're just needing candy. <laughs> I find it funny though that as much as we mock the corn syrup, you like the thing that is basically pure yeah. corn syrup. After start checklist. It's just real Last bad one, for you. Flash yeah, two. it is. Did 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 you know that uh, the people who make corn syrup try to ha they had a whole commercial series about how corn syrup is not bad for you because it's natural. It's from corn. How could it be bad for you? Like yeah, they had like these two teenagers talking about corn syrup or something, and they were like, "How could corn be bad for you?" Or I, I but we the thing about. Corn, corn syrup is that you can't even eat the corn. Yeah. You have to process it to the point where it's actually edible. Yeah. We'll have to see if we can find that commercial because yeah. I barely remember it, but I rem I just remember it being very strange and my mom was just kind of like, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna disconnect the uh, well Disconnect the GPU. Here we go. Uh, so external power is off. And we're gonna go. And I'm gonna do a Toga takeoff because why not? Toga take take off? Toga is take off, go around, it's just full beans. You usually don't wanna go full no, beans exactly. because it wastes fuel and 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 just it it basically makes the One engine swear off faster ah check rotate positive right you're up you're up Flaps one. Flaps 
flap zero. Flap zero. That spoiler is disarm. Thrust climb. Oh, it's windy. Have fun. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I'm turning on the autopilot pretty early because... Now, here's the thing with this scenario. Okay, I'm going to... Oh, I'm not going to fiddle with the lights. Fuck off. Um, here's the thing with the, this scenario, um, in real life, if this happened, you wouldn't actually need to fly the plane, because this plane is perfectly, and pretty much every commercial plane is perfectly capable of doing an auto land. Oh. I didn't know that. Yeah. But for the purposes of the scenario, we are gonna... After takeoff checklist completed. Standard barrel crosscheck. Passing flight level zero. For three. the purposes of the scenario, you will actually have to do a manual landing. Because what's the point otherwise? It, yeah. it would be, I tell you to press that button and that button and then the plane will land. <laughs> Perfect landing. Yeah, that's the, that's, and and for the people at home, I'd I'd ask to press the approach button and the autopilot two button, and the plane would, and then you'd have to like fiddle with the flaps and just, basically you'll just have to press a few buttons and the and the plane would be perfectly happy to land. On its own, but since we're, this is supposed to be a challenge, we will pretend that the autopilot system is not operational. No, I mean the auto land system. We are still going to use the autopilot. Okay. So, now I'm going to explain some controls to you just to save time later. Okay. This top button toggles the gear. Okay. You, you do know what a gear is. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. This button raises the flaps. Okay. Do you know what flaps are? On the wings. Yes, they... They go up and down. Yes. And they give you more lift. Yes. For... This button raises the flap. No, I mean, sorry, lowers the flaps. Okay. You're going to be landing with full flaps. Okay. This button engages the reversers. We will not be using that button okay. tonight. Uh, at the front, there will be buttons for the speed brakes. We might not be using those buttons, okay. but I'm, I'll explain them if need be. That's this side. Okay. And Airbuses are so advanced in their auto throttle that you do not need to actually operate this level lever before, like two seconds before landing, where you pull okay. it completely back. The joystick functions is a joystick. Yes. The trigger at, at the front is a brake toggle. A okay. Brake, brake button. So you just engage, hold it down to brake. Okay. Um, this button lowers the trim, meaning that the plane will naturally fly nose a bit lower but actually airbuses trim themselves so you do not need to worry about these buttons so it's just a joystick and the uh, the uh, trigger okay and there's this button here mm -hmm. that you need to be a bit careful because it changed the view to the outside view ah. other than that uh, number five is the default forward okay on the keypad, not here. Okay. 
Number eight is the overhead head view. Okay. Uh, number six is the the uh, is the uh, flight computer. Okay. That's this would be a this would be a uh, realistic thing for it to be. Uh, and uh, oh, in real life, you'd have to operate the radios and such, but we're going to bypass that. And to look around, you keep the wrong button down and okay. the right button. And you operate the buttons either by pushing them on the screen or mm -hmm. with a regular click. And these circular buttons, you use the mouse wheel to operate. Okay. Um, and, uh, yeah, I think that's it. I've had, way, I've had way too many American candies. <laughs> I had a heart attack. <laughs> Is there anybody who knows fly, how to fly a plane? I do not. Is there anybody who's willing to take it? Take a chance. I do not, but I guess I will. Because America? Yeah, America. <laughs> America. Fuck yeah. World, please. <laughs> saves. America saves the day. <laughs> As always. Yes. God. <laughs> okay. Oh, geez. So, I have died. Oh no, what a tragedy. Isn't it? I'm just gonna assume your identity, and so that oh, way I can just cool. stay here. Okay. That I think your girlfriend out. might have a problem with that. Uh, she's open-minded. Oh god! <laughs> I think that's meant in the terms of like. <laughs> oh god. Okay, so you are approaching top of descent. Okay. Uh. What do I do? What you do is uh, see the altitude uh, thing um. on the... Oh, right. This top pane here, that's the autopilot pane. Okay. That's the altitude. That's okay. the speed. That's the heading. And that's to control the altitude. Okay. So what so, do I need to do for the altitude? Uh, hold on. I need to log into my navigator app charge to tell you. Oh fuck. This is not convenient. No. I thought it... Oh for fuck's sakes. Nice bracelets. Mm, hold on, I'll, I'll just check it here real quick. We're doing an ILS approach to number to runway zero for left. Okay, you wanna set that to two thousand feet. So just scroll wheel down. Excellent. And look at the uh, flight computer. It's number six. Uh, so you don't press anything quite yet. Okay. okay. So we can look back up. Uh, when I say so, you need to press that altitude knob that I just showed you, but not quite yet. All right, I can do it with my finger. You, uh, actually, that one is better to do with your mouse. Oh, okay. Um, yes. Now? Uh, look at the flight computer. Uh, not quite yet. When it says 10 or less, with the dis the distance, or the dist. Oh, okay. But in the meanwhile, no, actually, let's get that out of the way first, because it's going down fast. Then you need to input some weather information for your arrival. Okay. But I'm going to explain how to do it when we get there. 
returning quite a bit. Yes. So at the moment, the plane is just flying its programmed route. Mm -hmm. Now this this uh, plane is very polite. It'll call you retard when you need to do do something for the landing. Uh, but it's it's not uh, a slur because I, I it's know, French. I know it's meant to be. Yeah, it's meant to. It's slow. It's just you know slow down. Yeah. Um, when it says retard to you, at the very final stage of the of the landing, you need to pull pull back, back the throttle and raise the nose of the okay. aircraft just a bit. That's the final phase How of the How do I raise the... You pull back on the stick. Okay, this. Yes. It's very close. Yes. Actually, you can do it now. It's even though it's 13? Yeah, yeah it doesn't matter. Okay. We are starting to descend now. Okay. Okay. So now, look at the flight computer. Uh, click on the button that says next phase. Now, you want to input some information. Okay. Okay. Uh, one zero one niner. And you input that to the spot that says Q and H. It's a very top one on uh, you want to press the button, not the screen. Just exit out of that. Um, then the next number you push in is 2 1, and you put that as the temp. Then, as the wind, you input uh, 0 3 0 slash 0 5. And put it that as the mag wind and then then you do not have to input any more information okay go back to previous phase prev phase button excellent you you are done with the flight computer for a second now you need to just monitor that the flying machine is not doing anything really scary. Okay, which I wouldn't really know. Well, you'll know. You'll be scared. Okay. That's es essentially the definition of scary at the moment. Okay. Uh, now on the overhead panel... Which one was uh, that again? Number eight. Uh... You, I'm just checking. In real life, I'd, I, I wouldn't see. I'd have to ask yeah. on every button. But just for the sake of uh, efficiency, we're not doing that. You do not have to touch anything on the overhead button. I thought panel. not even the turn on seatbelt light or whatever. No, it's already turned on. But you can if you want to. <laughs> I mean, you are in control. Um, now, there is a button on the autopilot pane, which has that those that dial that says 10, 20, 40. Yes. Extend that to 20. You uh, right. hold down and drag. Oh, the wrong button. Okay. Uh, one more step. Okay, that's good. Uh, you can zoom zoom to 20. Again, I, in real life I'd have to ask on every single thing. Yeah. But I'm not doing that at the moment. Now go back to the uh, flight computer and click activate up upper phase. This? And then confirm. Approach, approach. phase activated. We need more drag, sir. Uh, I am not. Oh, maybe I am. In drag? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. 
sure. Why not? Anyway. Okay. Um, so what? We don't have enough drag, so what do I do? You do not need to do anything because we are slowing down. And oh, okay. You don't actually have to slow that down that fast. Actually, this is a really easy approach, so you are in luck. Despite the wind? I mean, uh, procedurally, this is a fairly easy ah. approach. Uh, confirm that the that the middle screen says at the top no, the middle screen, the navigation screen uh, that you are looking at right now, mm. the middle one no, the middle oh, screen this? yes uh, confirm that it says ILS 1 for left it says 0 for left Oh, zero four left. That's what I said. You said Everybody heard me <laughs> saying zero four left. No, I think I think con everyone heard you say confirm one. Confirm it on the in the comments that I said zero four left. <laughs> you said one. But that means that the computer has been programmed to do an ILS approach okay. for runway zero four left. ILS means instrument landing system. Okay. That is the easiest way okay. to land a plane. Now. Uh, you have a small screen that has the words STD. It's oh for no, standard. The plane. Uh, <laughs> there's anyway. a knob below it. You need to push the knob. Approach checklist completed. That that put us in or gave us the correct uh, barometer okay. to do the landing. Then there is an LS button right below that click that now on the leftmost screen screen no the leftmost screen the one that says more drag oh there are two like scales one to the bottom mm-hmm with the uh, with two dots and a line in the s at the center, mm -hmm. and then there's one on the right, that, and they both have l these purple chevrons. Those will guide you to a perfect landing. Okay. Now, quick look to the just drag the view a little to the left. Yes, there is an up on the uh, to the right a little. You said uh, left. Everybody heard me sing, right? Uh, just, just a tad. Uh, on the autopilot thing, there is an upper APPR button. Click that, uh, and then there is an AP2 button. Click that in the middle of the autopilot. Autopilot two, cross check. Okay, look front. Now, the computer is now going to make an auto land, but since we do not have, for the purposes of this scenario, we do not have that capability, um, we're just going to let the computer guide you to the correct slope. As you can see, the purple chevrons are aligned with the lines mm -hmm. at the moment. That's what I want. That's what you want. Okay. I take it that's the runway. That is the runway. Now, place your hands on the controls. Flaps one. Lower the flaps one notch. Which is X? Or no, no it would be O. Yes. Flaps one. And I will turn off the autopilot for you. Now, keep the plane, keep the chevrons aligned with the lines, okay. and aim the airplane to the runway. Radio altimeter alive. 2,500. Do I need to go up a bit? You need to go down a bit when the chevron is 
lower than you are. And you can get a feel of the plane. You also need to go a to the left a little. Wait, left. I'm going right. Uh, I meant right. Oh. I know I'm not helping. Oh, and there are those two uh, green lines yeah. on at the center. Uh, point the plane to where the lines cross. That is called the flight director. It'll help you guide the plane. Okay. You are not aiming the plane at where the lines cross. I'm trying. I am really fucking up. Admittedly, you are. <laughs> Okay, we are way too high to do a landing now. Oh, fuck. No worries. Uh, just... Don't descend anymore. Let's just stay at this altitude. Um, I was... On the same screen where th are those lines and the crosses and everything. Mm. Uh, the rightmost dial that now says 05 yeah. and has this green dial that shows you where you are heading you want to keep that in the middle what are you what which one like that no 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 not like that don't do that <laughs> oh fuck what did I, I do what did I do you move the power handle but you moved it back so that's okay Okay. This scene is what's messing me up the most. Because you were saying to keep it crosshair, but I, so I was trying to figure out how to do that. And I wasn't paying attention to the chevrons. So, you don't need to keep an eye on both. Oh. But the left... No, the rightmost... Oh, now it... Oh. Dial of the... On the screen. Mm -hmm. With the green... Pointer mm -hmm. now it says 07, 08. That shows you where you are heading vertically. Okay. You are now in a climb. So gently push the nose down so that it'll reach zero. Okay, that's pretty good. Now start to turn left. And you actually mean left. I actually mean left this time I actually thought about it. We're gonna go around and we are gonna try landing it. Oh not that much. No, not so much. And also keep keep an eye on your altitude, which is the middle thing that says twenty three and okay. so that you won't get too low. Okay, so just try to keep your altitude around this and keep turning you have a handicap that Fox didn't which is Fox speaks Finnish so it was way easier to explain this ah. just keep turning as long as I tell you to not turn anymore But this is actually good, you get more more of a sense at where the plane, how the plane handles yeah. under manual, manual control. Watch how neat the scenery is, those are actually satellite photos. Ah. So that's exactly what you see cool. on an airplane when you're coming to land, as you probably should have recognized. Yes. Okay, you are in a steep descent at the moment. Yeah, I, I realize Start I Start was... heading straight now. So, uh, wings level, and now look at the vertical dial, which was the rightest most. Mm -hmm. Which, actually, right now, it's perfect. Just maybe turn to the 
left a bit more. Just a tad. I mean, turn left. Like, properly turn left, but you're not gonna be turning for a very long time, so... Okay, not that much. Or, uh, actually, that was okay, I was... Okay, and now straighten. Okay, actually, that was too much, so back to the right. And done. And straighten the plane. Alright, now we're gonna fly this way for a bit, so that you get more distance to come in for a second landing okay. attempt. You can let go of the joystick because it's an Airbus. Mm -hmm. If this was a Boeing plane, you'd have to work for it. Uh, actually, now that we are in a stable attitude, uh, lower your flaps a second notch. Flaps two. Okay. Just a couple more minutes with this direction at this attitude and then we're going to turn for a, for another attempt okay. at a landing. Hopefully I don't fuck up this time, but I probably will. It doesn't really matter because the main thing is to keep, get people down alive. Yeah. Actually, now that we're in this state, uh, again, turn the view to the... No, turn the view to the... Yeah, that way. There is, next to the middle screen, there is, there are three buttons labeled auto brake, low, medium, and high, max. Click the max button. Click the max button again. Click the medium button. Okay, now you can go back to the standard view. It's weird that it didn't let you go max. Okay, uh, put your hands back on the controller. Uh, lower the flaps one more notch. Flaps three. And start turning to the left. And this is a pretty steep turn, so you can, you can, but just don't let your nose drop too much because you will make mince meat out of the, your passengers. And that's generally considered to be a bad thing. Yes. Actually, now you can start looking at the, at the green, at the leftmost screen. You can start looking at the green lines on the middle of the screen. Okay. And. The yellow square mm -hmm. is where your nose is headed. Okay. So point that yellow square to where the green lines intersect. You can you can feel f you can give more pressure on the joystick. Just push forward. There we go. And now just keep the plane. At the at where they where the cross is. Okay, now landing gear down when you're ready. Uh, landing gear down. Yes. Which one is that? Gear. Oh, that the was first the button. topmost button. Gear down. And last. Stage your flaps, so flaps down one more notch. Flaps full. Okay, for some reason it's leading you astray. The your you can see your runway. Oh. It's the one right over there. Now you don't want to steer your plane like that. You want to. Yeah, just aim for the runway. Which is this, right? Yes. Oh, and uh, in the front of the thruster lever, there are two buttons. Mm -hmm. Press 
the lower button. Oh, no, the other button. The other button. Quickly, quickly, quickly. What other button? The lower button. You the press the... Yeah. Yes. Okay. And now point the plane for the runway. And land the plane. Passengers are very scared right now. Well, we haven't told them. Uh, they have to know something's wrong at this point. What the fuck was that? That was my phone playing Spotify for a random reason. Oh. Okay. You'll probably want to turn the plane also to line up with the runway because it's yeah. gonna go, go down pretty fast. Now put your uh, left hand on the throttle lever. Okay, here we go. So uh. just point it there and keep going. And when it says retard, just pull down. Should I point down? Yeah, more, more down. Just aim for the beginning of the runway. You're going down a bit too much. 500. well like decently well 200 okay and when it says retard pull back back the power and and uh, pull, pull back on the 60, yoke 40, 30, 20, whoa retard, retard, you retard, retard. I fucked up 20, 10, <laughs> I'm really fucking up bang, 10, bang, 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 I'm really Pitch, 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 I regret to inform you that we died. Pitch, 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 seventy knots. Next landing should be good, sir. Don't cry, don't cry. <laughs> I really fucked that up. I got really anxious at the end. Fuck me. <laughs> oh, jeez. So, how? <laughs> so everyone's dead. Everyone is dead. <laughs> God damn it. But you know what? That was to be expected. <laughs> so, don't worry about it. I'm um, sorry to disappoint you because you thought I would do okay. Um. You did decently. No, I didn't. <laughs> Everyone it, it, is dead. <laughs> you had the plane going in level flight for quite a long while. <laughs> uh, you had... You followed instructions. Uh, it just you never handled a plane, so... Yeah. A manual landing is not actually a thing that people usually can do. Uh, except that, for Fox, apparently. Uh, Fox has played some flying games oh. before. So, let's watch a replay. Oh god, let's... God! <laughs> oh jeez, why are we doing this? Why do we have to rewatch my failure? Because, Where everyone because is if, we, if we didn't show it, people would get mad. God, this is so embarrassing. No, you're yoing the plane quite a lot. That's a twisty ah. motion on the joystick. So <laughs> I didn't know. I should have told you that. I'm sorry. <laughs> that might have been part of the problem. <laughs> no, that wasn't the problem. It's the problem was me pulling up on accident. 500. Probably. And you pitched down way too strongly. Oh, yeah. Right Everyone is dead, and it's my fault. Now, here, everything looked great. You had it all under control. And I, I was so close to not fucking up. I wonder 
what the fuck I did. I I really don't know either. One hundred above. Something happened here. 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, 5. I mean, Ten. the first touch, I mean, it was way, way, way too 20, strong. 10, you just Ten. touched down too, too 20, strongly, 10, like, 5, the... <laughs> God, it's so bad! Five, it's so bad! It's so bad! 10, you had the... It's so bad! <laughs> it's so bad! It really wasn't as bad as... as oops. <laughs> It really wasn't as bad as it could have been. Here the plane is parked and shut down. Not exactly where we got, but but it was a valiant effort. And everyone died. Everyone everyone died, but you know, in real life, it would have been. I would have told you to. By the point where I said like, push the approach button and the autopilot two button, you would have only had to punch in the. Uh, flaps and the and the computer would have landed itself so in real life you would have saved everybody because obviously in an emergency situation they they wouldn't be like well let's have let's have them land the plane just for a lark <laughs> by hand <laughs> yeah, so, let's risk everyone's lives everybody's dead but I'm I'm glad you were a good sport about trying it and I hope you had fun at least I did up until I killed everyone and embarrassed myself. <laughs> it's not an embarrassment because because you got a lot, a lot further than a lot of people would have. Okay. That makes me feel a bit better. Yes. So. Because I have never done this before, ever. Exactly. And you haven't played much flying games except no. for Elite Dangerous. Literally only Elite Dangerous and yes. it's, while it has some similarities, it's a lot more forgiving. Yeah. So, that's the video. Thank you for watching. And uh, we'll be back maybe for another actual flight. Perhaps not. Who knows? Life is a mystery.